Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I'm only going to be using the Sharpie brush markers to color. I know the last time I did this challenge where I used Sharpie, I did use the majority of the drawings were colored using these. So in today's video, I'm only limiting myself to these colors. So I'm not going to be using the other ones. Eek. I'm just using these Sharpie markers. So let's go ahead and let me just show you guys what I'm going to be using. I'm going to be using a Micron. I might use a brush pen or something, I don't know. A jelly roll, a mechanical pencil, and my sketchbook. Sorry if you guys hear a bit of noise outside. I do have people over. Right now they're quiet, but I don't know how long that's gonna last. So starting now, I kinda, I don't wanna draw a full character. I wanna draw something with like pigtails or something. So like it's going up here and then comes down and I can have this one here as well and then I'll have like a hand maybe here I could either have her holding her pigtails I could either have it like coming through here and then yeah I think it'll be much better if it's like not sitting on top of her hand but like she just grabs it oh man I don't know why I have my needed eraser if I'm just going to use the one that these whole bunch of right there. I'm gonna give her like a very long turtleneck. Mm. These are the colors I have to work from. I'm not gonna use all of them, of course. It's gonna be ugh, ugh, too much. Let's see, I don't know how her hair is going right now. With, um, here, here. So there's like a middle line here. And then I'll just have, I kinda wanna just have her hair like wrapping around itself like that. So it's like a huge twist over here. So I kind of got that sketchy sketch down. Don't think I'll do anything for the background. Oh man, her shirt's gonna be so plain. I wanna have something like a pattern, some kind of a pattern, you know? I'm just gonna do little flowers. It'll get cleaner once I start inking. <laughs> Is that too much? <laughs> okay, I'm gonna start inking now. And then let's just hope I don't mess up this step here. Got your face. I actually enjoy the inking process when it's like digital art because I kind of change, I like to change things as I go when I'm doing my digital art so I like to add little extra things. But when it's traditional, like I kinda, I don't have that undo button. <laughs> so I kind of have to like trace it as I see it kinda or else like I could make a mistake. And you know like ink, it doesn't come off. I'm not very good at doing patterns. One, two, three. Especially if they're traditional patterns. Now I'm gonna erase. Oh my god, this needed eraser smells so bad. And look how it's just it's a bit firm. I guess I kind of like it because I can like hold it and do that. But it does kind of leave little, um, it kind of does a, this thing here. Okay, so what do I do? What if I just close my eyes and like pick random colors? <laughs> I'm trying to figure out what I want to color the hair. <laughs> um, no, no. Are we gonna make the hair pink? I kind of want to make her hair pink. Let's make it pink. I guess I could do a little color swatch, swatch roo here. That's what it looks like. I really like how the cap can just like snap on here. Wow, the smell is like so strong, you guys. Like, holy. I'm starting to feel a little bit lightheaded. The brush tip literally makes it so easy for you to like do this. Like, wow. I'm 
I'm gonna take this darkest shade of the lighter pink and I'm going to shade with it. Let the blending begin. That part's done. I don't know what else I can do with it. Oh, oh my goodness. So with this paper, the ink is kind of like spreading. Um, with my cardstock paper, I wasn't getting this kind of like fuzziness. I don't know if you guys can see this. Let me zoom in a little bit for you. We'll come in a little closer. Do you guys see how it kind of like got out of the line art? Like, do you see that? Do you see that? And then I got a little bit of splashing over here on the face as well. I literally had someone commenting about this saying that maybe if you didn't flick the marker, it wouldn't splatter like that. How do you think I'm supposed to open it? Look at that. That literally splashed for me doing that. Like there's no way you can open it without getting that jerking motion. The cap is like on there securely. Like I can't twist it open. Yeah, it's not, it's not happening. You kind of have to open it. And by doing that, you get that jerking motion, which is what, whoop, which is what causes all this. I'm like, have you never opened a marker before? <laughs> That's literally how every marker is. Okay, here's the Copic. Do you see that jerked? Do you see any ink on here? No, there's nothing on there. It's just this thing, just the ink is just, I don't know. Maybe it's too much, there's just too much ink in there. Look, no, that's literally how you open a marker. You're, ugh, I don't like explaining myself, man. Done with the hair for now. I'm not gonna color in her skin just because, ugh, the colors, man. The colors are not right. I am going to color, let's color her shirt, let's use, is there, an, I had an orange, where's my, oh, I kind of want to do this as my little details, maybe like right here. shade with green eh, it's looking weird now what I want to do is color her lips I'm probably just gonna make it pink how do those lips look oh my god I really like how I do the lips actually um, I want to take that blue, maybe give her some kind of a earring, maybe? Eek, I hope that doesn't look too muddy. Oh, it's starting to look muddy. That's ugly. Let's not mess it up. That's me. Gonna get her eyebrows now. Kinda want something. Ooh. I think I know what I want to do for the background. Maybe. Since I have a whole bunch of pattern here, I kind of want to do the same kind of, well not the same pattern, but like a pattern as well. I'm gonna make it yellow. I kind of want to do a drop shadow somewhere. Let me see what this purple looks like. Oh my gosh, should I do it? <laughs> ah. Okay, we're gonna do it. Um, so, what is it gonna? It's supposed to look like a drop shadow, but then I think it's making me look really bad. I think, I think I might've ruined it. <laughs> Why do I always do this? I don't know. I don't know. Okay. Yeah, I'm just gonna ink it and then we'll see how the final thing looks like. I think 
like now it's starting to kind of look like a drop shadow. <laughs> Finally. I was about to get worried there. Oh, guys, look at this. Oh my God, what is this? <laughs> um, I think it's probably from the blue and also the black. I'm gonna go ahead and wipe this off. I got a little bit off, but it's not completely gone. Should be okay now. It's like around her face, you gotta be real careful. You know when you flip your art and then it starts looking really, really weird? Yeah. Face looks so kind of boring right now. So I don't know, I kind of want to give her freckles. So I don't know. <laughs> I've been giving everyone freckles. Now, all we have to do is add in, now all we have to do is add in a little white details oh this thing is big enough for this huge space so now i'm trying to find acrylic or something to have some shake it up do a little loop oh okay. i got a little toothpick here <laughs> we're just gonna take a bit of that and like dab it here oh how does that look? You gotta use what you got, man. Oh, I kinda, why am I like this? I literally smeared it here now. No, 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 no. All right, so that is pretty much me using the brush pens as my only main, main medium in this. Okay, so today's comment goes to Essa, Essa Art, and she says, OMG girl, this turned out so cute. This is probably one of my favorite pieces that you've done. I like how you were able to work with such a dark color. I also love the detail in the hair. It looks pretty. Thank you so much, S-A-R, S-A-R. <laughs> really appreciate it so that is pretty much it for today's video let me know what your thoughts are about this and i will see you guys in the next one bye guys thanks for watching